Behind me is red maple. It's in the family Sapindaceae, the genus Acer, and the specific epithet is rubrum. So Acer rubrum is the species name. Let's take a look at its characteristics. The bark of red maple starts out very smooth and gray, and you can just see it starting to break into some plates and fissures. Young red maple and young silver maple are very difficult to tell apart. They both start out very similar in terms of bark characteristics. As you move down to the red maple and take a closer look at the more maturing bark, you can start to see that instead of peeling in large strips, it starts to break into plates and develop thin fissures or furrows where the silver, silver maple will have long, thin strips of grayish bark. Red maple has oppositely arranged buds and leaves. The newest twig of red maple starts out reddish, or it can be a green color, depending upon how much sunlight it's getting. So when a twig gets very little sunlight, or the underside of a twig, might have a greener color as it's exposed to more sunlight, it'll turn this red or red-brown color. So in the fall, you'll tend to see the twigs redden up. The terminal bud of red maple is a little more rounded and plumper than what you'd see in silver maple and has that red and green tint to it. On red maple, similar to silver maple, you'll start to see bud clusters on older branches and twigs. The bud clusters are where the flowers will start to appear, and that's also where you'd start to see seeds. Red maple produces its seeds in the spring, and they would be paired samaras. Red maple leaves also have lobes. I usually see them with about three distinct lobes and a more rounded base. This gives you a sense of their general size. Uh, dark green, sometimes a little lighter on the underside. You might see the leaves of red maple being uh, bright yellow or yellow except for the veins which are dark green. That's a chlorosis which can happen when red maple is on high pH soils. This is a fairly young red maple, but it has a typical form. Comes up single stem or trunk, then branches out fairly low and forms a rounded crown. And true to its name, the fall color is typically reds.